Hey guys, welcome to Tech Drift Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn about how to download Udemy courses on PC. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Before we get started on the step-by-step -step guide, let's talk a little bit onto an overview onto what is Udemy. So this is actually an online learning platform that offers a wide range of courses on various subjects. So whether you're looking to enhance your skills in programming, business, photography, or virtually any other field, Udemy likely has a course for you. So the platform allows instructors from around the world to create and share their expertise with learners globally. So it is a fantastic resource for self-paced learning, enabling you to acquire new skills or deepen existing one from the comfort of your own home. So as you can see, here are some of the example of the courses that it offers. So we have here some Python, Excel, Web Development, JavaScript, Data Science, Amazon, and Drawing. So you could choose from over 210,000 online video courses with new edition published every month. Now, here are some of the learners that likes to achieve their goals. So there are some of the feedbacks or some of the comments that they have that they recommend this platform which is Udemy. And here are some also onto the courses on what the learners here in Udemy are currently viewing. We have also here the top categories. We have the design, development, marketing, IT and software, personal development, and many more. And here onto their website as well, you can see the different featured topics by category. So as you can see, if you scroll down further, there is also a Udemy business wherein you could upscale your team with Udemy business. So this is unlimited access to 25,000 plus top Udemy courses anytime and anywhere and international course collection in 14 language and top certifications in tech and business. So you could get this by just clicking get this and then right after you could also become an instructor here in Udemy wherein you could go ahead and teach a million of learners on Udemy. So they provide the tools and skill to teach what you love. And for you to be able to get started onto using this platform, you'll need an account for that. If you don't have an account yet, you'll just need to head here onto the sign up. And if you have an account already, just simply click on to login. Now just simply click on the sign up and this is just easy since you'll just need to type in your full name, email and password to start learning and you'll have this track box as well to send you special offers, personalized recommendation and learning tips and by clicking on the signing up you should agree to the terms of use and privacy policy and if you have an account already just simply click onto the login button. Now the process of logging in is just the same onto signing up. So you'll have the option to continue using your Google account, Facebook, Apple, email, password, and click on to log in. And personally, I try to use to continue with Google so that I don't have to remember my email and password. I'll just have to click onto the account that I want to use. Now, right after logging in, you'll get redirected onto this page or the main page wherein you have logged in your account already. So onto this page, you'll have your other search bar when you can search for anything the different categories that it offers the udemy business instructors and your learnings and do your favorite in here or your wish list you also have your cart in here and your notification and also your account settings now if you want to download something from your udemy courses we're just gonna head here onto your, your learning so once you click onto that you'll get redirected onto the courses that you have into your account so I'm just going to click on to remind the later since this is a new feature they have, which is scheduled time to learn. So this is where you could go ahead and set a time aside to learn and get reminders using your learning event. So I'm just going to turn that one off for now. And since I have this onto the my learning, we have the all courses in here or you could just break down this to my list, wish list, archive and learning tools. And for us to be able to get started, we could use this free English grammar course that I have onto my My Learning. So you need to make sure that the account that you download is actually free. So this is just applicable to free users so that you could use this at your own convenience. If you don't have time to browse into the internet, then you could go ahead and watch it offline. So just feel free to use this, but be sure that it is a free account and it is added onto your own learning. So I'll just have to click onto the course that you want to go ahead and download. Then right after, we'll just have to wait since we'll get redirected already onto the main page where you can learn the different things. So 
As you can see, there are different sections in here. So we start first with section one. You have the section two. So we'll just have to choose the video that you want to download. But onto this page, you can see a quick overview onto what this course is all about, the notes, announcements, some reviews, and some learning tools. And once you have already in here the different videos, you'll just have to click onto the one that you want to download. So for example, if you want to download this verb, we're just going to go ahead and click onto this one so that it will show in here. So if you click onto that, it would show a quick or it would show the video already. And for us to download the video, what we'll need to do is to open your developer tools. So you could press Ctrl Shift I for that for Windows. And there's actually another option to open the browser's developer tool using Mac. So just make sure to search first how to open the developer tools onto your PC. Now, right after clicking onto the command tool, you'll just get redirected here. And then you'll just need to click onto the network tool. You'll need to make sure that it is actually filtered onto media so that it would just show the media that you have in here. And then right after, we need to play the first video in the course or the course that you want to download. So you're just going to click it like that. And as it plays, entries will populate in the media section. So as you can see, you should be able to see it in here. So you could just look for an entry like this wherein it is labeled web hd or something similar and this is the video file that you want to use now once you have that one what you'll need to do is you'll just need to right click onto it so once you right click on the identified video entry you'll just need to open this onto a new tab so we'll just have to click open a new tab and then right after as you can see it would automatically prompt the download for you so usually what others try to do into that one is it will actually redirect you to the video itself and onto the video it will have an option onto the bottom part to view it first and then there is a three dots in here if you click onto it there is a download video option but onto our end in here it is just redirected so you might uh, experience similar things like that one so you'll just have to download this click on start download and then right after you could just repeat this onto every other videos so i'll just need to open the course again in here choose in the different video so we'll click on to next to view the other video and then right after what we'll need to do is you'll just need to do the same thing so as you can see since we have another video in here which is the pronouns you actually can see also another thing that has popped up in here with the same file format so what you need to do we'll just have to wait for this one to be processed and right after it is processed do the same thing of right clicking onto it and opening it into a new tab then right after it will automatically download onto your device now the next thing that you could do once you have downloaded everything you'll just need to go ahead and create a folder onto your device and then right after compile everything so that it would be organized and it would be easy for you to browse on through the different different courses so as you can see the download has been completed and if you try to open it let's try to see if it has been downloaded so we'll just have to wait for this one to load first and as you can see it has been downloaded already and that's just basically it onto downloading udemy courses onto your pc and if you think this has been helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thanks for watching and we'll see you onto our next video